Hi everybody and welcome to JokerSnap. My name is Linda and today we'd like to talk about IT documentation. For this I've invited my colleague Hans. Hello everyone. We already collected a lot of data. How does JokerSnap prepare data for us? Well, that's uh, uh, a different question because you have to care about the person who is interested into the data. And this could be different. Let's say someone in the accounting wants to have a, a flat view of the systems, that means the assets in his case, but a system administrator wants to have a hierarchical view, I want to have my domain, I want to have my systems, my Active Directory and so on. And um, additionally to that we have the sites, that means I can organize my systems um, from a ge geographical point of view and also there is a, an organization view, that means I can also add processes and services which is important at a later stage in DocuSnap when I want to visualize such stuff. We already collected a lot of data. How does DocuSnap prepare data for us? That's a good question. Um, the first thing is you have to care about the person because let's say an accounting manager or someone in the accountant wants to have just the assets, that means a flat view. And when I say I'm a system administrator, I want to have my Active Directory, my OUs, my, my users and so on. So depending on the, uh, on the, let's say on the task, I can structure the information in DocuSnap differently. Additionally, we have, for example, the sites. That means I can put the systems into, uh, we have here London, Munich, New York. I guess you get the idea. I have the uh, geographical point of view. And last but not least, uh, I have my organizational view. That means I can add, um, let's say, processes, services, and so on. So I guess this helps a lot to have this huge amount of data uh, in the DocuSnap very easy. To yes, of course. Could you please show me an example for a system in DocuSnap? Sure. Let's try to find a system. We start here at the account. From there I select my infrastructure view. Below the view is the domain and here we have let's say some servers and let's pick one server and click here on the um, data time signature which we call snapshot mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and you see when did we gather the data into Tokyo Snap and below we have all the information in, let's, well, kind of a tree view. So I have here my general settings like the current user at the time of scan, operating system, and so on. Uh, we have the Microsoft server roles. We have server features, which has been installed. And uh, a little bit below, is the installed software on this system. We have something like scheduled tasks, which are here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see this, it's a huge structure below the tasks here. And I guess I will start a, sh a system summary report to give you an overview how much uh, data mm -hmm. um, has been collected and you see just 43 pages and this is only one system in DocuSnap. Okay? Thank you. It's really amazing how much data DocuSnap can capture. How can I get an overview of the captured systems? Okay, uh, we have here a 
report which is called IT structure key figure and this displays only the core information of all the gathered uh, systems in a simple report and this is very useful uh, after your first initial scan we re recommend to start this report to get a, an idea what is currently in the database. Yeah. Thank you, very interesting report. So how many reports do we offer in DocuSnap? At the moment around about 200, but um, we get many requests, feedback from our customers, and so uh, we get this feedback and try to get more and more um, out of the box reports in DocuSnap, uh, and I guess the number will go up. Okay, so 200 is really a huge amount, and which reports do our customers like the best? Okay, I will show you um, some examples. Let's say uh, I'll switch to the domain view, and below the domain are the security reports. And let's say you have many computers and you have to answer the question, who is local admin mm -hmm. on, on which system? And this could be a burden, but in DocuSnap is just a click. Okay. Uh, let's click here on the local administrators with group resolution. That, that means the report contains the information who is, uh, who is, just a second, that's better, who is, um, local administrator and additionally we also tell you what group membership is responsible for this permission. Okay, great. And the second report I'd like to show is, well let, let me explain this. Uh, let's say you have a computer system and you want to have services started when the system is on mm -hmm. and Sometimes they aren't started, and DocuSnap can tell you this with the report uh, services stop it. And that means DocuSnap tells you exactly hey, you have uh, configured this service with the startup type automatic, but at the time of the scan, it's stopped. And this could be a very useful information in your environment. Can I edit the collected data with programs like Excel? Yes, of course. Um, I will show you how by clicking on the summary section. Here in the software is every installation that we've found of all the systems in the domain here. And let's say I want to have only the installed software which uh, is there more than three times. Mm -hmm. uh, I got this by clicking on the filter I can hear and setting um, the bigger than three argument and with clicking on export, I start my Excel and I could go on and do everything that I would normally do in Excel. Yeah. Uh, this is only a quick example, but we have, of course, uh, more. Let's switch to the documentation here. We were all the time on inventory now. I select the documentation, and here I have my overviews, and we have some overviews in DocuSnap, like Active Directory user and so on, and also uh, the systems output, which is a, I hope so, good example for our overviews. So click on next and I could schedule this of course. And DocuSnap has created our computer overview and I guess this is something that is in any company somehow uh, but 
with DocuSnap, you don't have to make your Excel list with IP addresses, memory of each system, and so on. Manually, DocuSnap is creating this with three clicks, and you have it current as often as you like. And I guess this could be very helpful to make your life easier. How does DocuSnap draw a map in these systems? Well, um, I think I will show you the network map as an example. The first step is, of course, to select the account. The next step is selecting the domain if there is more than one. And in our case, I will go for the network map. That means make this bigger. Okay, this is a network map. I could rearrange the icons if I like to. I have several other options. But for this example, I guess I just create one output, just a second. Because we create a Visio map, but also uh, the HTML version of, of this map. Mm -hmm. And this is very interesting. Let's say you want to have um, some of your network visualized and you want to have it in your intranet, then you get this file. Here we are. Just one single file. And when I hoover on a system, I can get here very easily the core information of each system and put it into my current and already existing documentation if I like to. Great. So can you show me another example for our DocuSnap diagram? Sure. I guess another strong map is the topology. That means you have switches in your company and we try to show you how these switches are connected with each other. Let's go for the preview here. This might take a few seconds. Okay. So these are my switches. And when I click on the switch panel view here, I get the view of my switch. And I see exactly which system was connected with which port on this switch by the learned MAC addresses. And this is very helpful if you want to have an overview about your switch structure. Is any Microsoft Office product required? No, it is not necessary to buy any additional Microsoft Office products for DocuSnap. It's recommended, but not required. Thank you for this overview. Which information is available about back office applications in DocuSnap? OK, um, let's take Exchange for a quick overview. I have here my mailboxes, which is a default report in DocuSnap. And here I can select the sort order. And I prefer the size to get an overview about the consumption in the Exchange database. And here we are. And we have here any mailboxes and the current items and the current size, which is, I hope, very helpful. And another one is the mobile devices, cell phones, for instance. And DocuSnap tells me exactly which phones are um, a part of the exchange environment and, for instance, when the last sync has taken place. And I hope this is 
a very short overview. We have, of course, plenty more about Microsoft Back Office information in DocuSnap. That was really interesting as always. So thank you, Hans. I hope you liked it as well. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Have a nice day.